let this be a normal field trip? With a friend? No way! Cruising on down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Next thing that you know, you're seeing. Octopus in the neighborhood, surfing on the sound wave, swinging through the stars. Take a left at your intestine, pick your second right past Mars on the magic school bus. Navigate a nostril. It all began when Miss Frizzle showed our class a film strip about the human body. We're learning about the human body today. This should interest you, Arnold. No, I can't take the pressure. When's recess? We knew trouble was about to start because we knew Miss Frizzle was the strangest teacher in the school. Then Miss Frizzle announced that we were going on a class trip to the Science Museum. We were going to see an exhibit about how our bodies get energy from the food we eat. Your cells need energy to grow, think, talk, move, and play. Just being in Miss Frizzle's class takes all my energy. Question. Yes. Do different cells do different things? Yes! Brilliant! Lung cells help you breathe. <gasps> Muscle cells help you move, and brain cells help you think. Oh. When it was time to go, everyone got onto the bus. When you eat, your body digests food so that your cells can use it for energy. Digest comes from a word that means divide. When you eat something, it digests and it divides into smaller and smaller pieces. Everyone got back onto the bus, except Arnold. He was still daydreaming and eating cheesy wheezies. called Miss Frizzle. She reached for the ignition key, but instead she pushed a strange little button nearby. At once, we started shrinking and spinning through the air. Miss Frizzle, what's going on? Calm down, it'll be okay. From inside, we couldn't see what was happening. All we knew was that we landed suddenly. Hey, where's the bus? I thought we were going to the museum. We had no idea where we were, but as usual, Miss Frizzle knew. There's been a slight change of plans. We're being digested instead. She said we were inside a human body going down the esophagus, the tube that leads from the throat to the stomach. Most of us were too upset about leaving Arnold behind to pay much attention. The bus was being moved down the esophagus through a process called peristalsis, which is the, the squeezing of muscles in the esophagus to push food to the stomach. We are now passing into the stomach. Roll up your windows, children. The walls of the stomach moved in and out, churning and mashing the food into a thick liquid. Now I know what it feels like to be a hamburger. We'll drive through this opening to the small intestine. In the small intestine, food is broken down into molecules tiny enough for the body cells to use. Does, why does education have to be so messy? Uh, I don't feel so well. No, maybe it was something I ate. The small intestine was a coiled up hollow tube. The inner walls of the tube were covered with tiny fingers called villi. In the villi are tiny blood vessels. Food molecules are taken into these blood vessels. Once the food is in the blood, it can travel all over the body. We felt ourselves getting even smaller, and Miss Frizzle started driving into one of the villi. She was going straight into a blood vessel. Class, the bus is following the path of the food molecules into the blood. You mean this body thinks we're food? Blood vessels are tubes that carry blood. They're like pipelines running through your body. Blood is not just a red liquid. Blood is made of cells floating in a clear fluid. Those cells look like red rubber saucers. Those are red blood cells. Red blood cells carry oxygen from the lungs to all the cells of the body. Oh my gosh, I'm lost. Okay, which way back to school? If Miss Frizzle went that way, then the school must be this way. I'll get there faster if I run. Oh, I think I'm bleeding. Where are we now? Class, we're on the way out of the body. A tremendous force pushed the bus forward, and all of a sudden we were spinning around and around. Children, prepare for landing. Please remain seated until the bus has come to a complete stop. Is she for real? We were going so fast, we couldn't see anything, but we could tell we were getting bigger. Then thud, we landed. We're here! Arnold, where were you? The trip was amazing. Seatbelts, everyone! Please let this be a normal field trip with a friend. No way! Cruising on down 
down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Next thing that you know, you see it. Octopus in the neighborhood, surfing on the sine wave, swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a left at your intestine, take your side. We knew trouble was about to stop. Oh, I'm stupid. We knew 